Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I just wanted to hop on here quick and do a little update to share with you what's been happening in the agenda section of my planner. So a handful of days ago, I did upload a long chatty planner flip here on my channel and in it I was using dailies. I was using insert 102, which I know is not like typical for me to use a daily insert, but I was using dailies and I should have known better. I really should have known better. I knew I would go right back and go into some form of weeklies because I just hardly ever stay in dailies. Like I hardly stick to them when I try to use them. So that's exactly what I did. I think for me, like the reason that I don't stick that well to dailies is just because I don't write every little thing down because so much that I do is just like routine. And sometimes if I do, like if I'm using a daily and then I do write it down, I tend to sometimes not even like cross it off or like check in with my daily insert just due to that. It's just not ingrained in me in my planning system, if that makes sense. I do technically make daily lists, but it's usually like on a sticky note or a scrap piece of paper that I just end up throwing away at the end of the day. But like within my planning system, it's not ingrained in me to go use a daily insert. So I think that's like why I don't really stick with them that well. I also work off of so many various like master lists that I keep in my planner. So I'm always referencing those and crossing things off on those. So I just think due to all that, dailies just aren't something that I personally stick to very long. I wish I could because I do love a good daily insert, but it's just not how I plan and I just have to stick to whatever works best for me. And that is weeklies for me, monthlies and weeklies. I love insert 102 so much that I'm actually using it as a weekly overview. And I wanted to come on here and just share that with you all today. We are about to jump in. All of the inserts and the sticky notes that I am about to show in this video are from my Etsy shop, which is Plan With Me LLC. I will leave it linked down below. I'm also gonna put somewhere on the screen the insert number in case you are interested in checking out the inserts or the sticky note bundles that I do show. I will leave that somewhere on the screen. So we're just gonna jump right in to the agenda section. Like I said, I am not going to flip through my entire planner again because I did just do that. That is my previous video. And everything in here is pretty much the same other than the fact that there are some more like lists in here and notes because I've been adding things because I am transferring back into having an A6 as my everyday planner again. Basically, everything here in my agenda section is exactly as it was. So I have my month on two page inserts here still. I have until the end of 2024 and then an upcoming plans insert, of course. And then I do have all of 2025 in here for my month on two page. So I have it already prepped. I have a sticky note on every single page. I have my key code filled out already. I went ahead, I typed in birthdays and anniversaries and holidays and I stamped on all of the um, seasons and everything. I put a couple stickers on just to prep it and I just think they look really cute. And then I have my upcoming plans again here. And then we get to my dailies here. I did keep a few in here just to show you but I do have the entire stack over here. This is insert 102 in my shop. So when I was testing it, because I test all of my inserts ahead of time, they're always in my business section. I test them for a while before I release them. So when I was testing them, I loved them. And then I was like, I'm gonna use these for the rest of the year. I'm so excited. I wanna use these inserts. So of course I went ahead and prepped all of these. I actually printed all the inserts for the remainder of 2024, which was a lot of these sheets but I went and like actually prepped out until the end of October here. And I just have like birthdays and some things that I have to know, some tasks that have to be done. I have some appointments filled in. I have um, book releases and I use some stamps to like put the little book. I have birthdays, holidays on there. Um, just like a bunch of random information that like I already just wrote out so that when I got to that day, things were already on there. And I went and I stamped all of these with their dates. So this took a very long time. It, it took a while, I but I really like the way that this insert looks. It's like pretty simple and I love the bold numbers. These stamps, by the way, are linked in my Amazon storefront, which I will leave linked in the description box. But you can see, this is a huge chunk. This is a really big chunk of inserts. Now, I did use 28 pound paper, which is thicker paper a little bit, just to avoid the bleed through so that I could read the opposite side of these. Cause I don't mind shadowing, but I do not like bleed through. But this is only like two and a half months worth right here in my hands, which look how thick that is. And when I first printed out enough for the rest of the year, 
and I tried to put them in my planner. My planner would not even shut. It was so thick. I was like, this is not going to work. So I just did to the end of October. However, my brain needs to be able to look ahead further because it's just how my brain works. Like I think about things for the future and then I do use my upcoming plans insert for that kind of stuff. But like there will be things that I do during the year and I go, oh, I need to remember to do this next year at this time. And I just like to jot it down. So I really wanted to be able to have the rest of the year in here and not just to the end of October. So here is a look at when I was using them in here. And you can see like I was using them. I really was enjoying them. Basically, I would just highlight the day up here, day of the week, highlight the month, stamped the number. I would just write my list, timed things that I would do, important things with like an exclamation point just to stand out at me, PWB for like anything plan with B related, stamped a little book when I was reading, which I did not keep up with because I'd have to get out the stamp every single day. So I just didn't keep up with that. And yeah, I was really loving and enjoying these and you can just see that I was enjoying them. And then it started to like taper off here and I just kind of, I wasn't filling the insert anymore, even though I'm doing so much stuff in a day that I could fill these. I wasn't even coming back to like check them off. It's even tapering off more here and it just continues to do that until nothing. There's just nothing on here. So that's how that was going. And that kind of told me like, obviously you already know dailies don't work well for you. And it clearly like, it's showing. So I just kind of knew I need to go back to my weekly overview in some form. This insert here, I will talk to you about in a moment. This is a sample insert of one of the newer inserts that I just released. I do always share updates on my Instagram whenever I do have any like new shop releases or if I have any new like freebies to my website, which is playwithb.com. I also share lots of ideas on my Instagram and just how inserts can be used over there, whether using my inserts or just a plain piece of notebook paper. Just like, I just love sharing ideas for planning systems. I also do occasionally send out an email to all of my website subscribers that lets you know when I do have new freebies or shop releases that have been added just so you know what's new. I don't send those emails too often because I don't want to bombard anybody's inbox but I try to send them like once a month or once every two months. So if you wanna be part of the mailing list, you can subscribe at planwithb.com if you're interested. Anyways, I'm getting a little sidetracked here. Back to my weeklies. So when I decided I'm definitely going back to a weekly, my first instinct was going back to a week on one page, which this one is insert 101. This is the insert I was using before I went into the dailies. And so naturally I just thought I would go back to this. And I love this insert so, so much. Like it's one of my favorite week on one pages. I love that this little like sidebar area here gives me a snapshot of my weekly events and appointments and birthdays and just like important little things like that. And then over here that I can just write like a key coded list and I'm just, I'm a list maker. So lists are what work for me. And I really, really do love this insert. And I just much prefer a weekly list over a daily list for my agenda section in my planner, just because again, I don't write everything down and I am working off of so many other lists, but there are certain things that I do need to write down as like little reminders to myself. For example, like giving my dog her preventatives or if somebody's birthday is coming up, I need to remember to buy them a gift or scheduling an appointment that maybe I couldn't schedule back when I thought of it. So I have to wait until it's closer paying certain things that are not on auto pay, just that kind of stuff, seeing things that are scheduled. So I really enjoy having a place to look, just a simple like weekly overview for that. And I don't need anything like crazy. I just need somewhere to have that information. I really loved when I was using these. I loved these so much that I wanted to figure a way to use them as a weekly overview. And even though it's like geared towards being a day on one page, it doesn't have to be a day on one page. You can use this just as a simple list. It could be a shopping list that you date. It could be a packing list that you just add a date to. Like it could be a bunch of different types of lists, but I really wanted to work it to be a weekly overview list. So that is what I did and I'm gonna show you. And I loved how it turned out. I'm actually just gonna take this out. So this is how I'm using insert 102 as a weekly. I am up here just highlighting the entire week. So you could even do this for like a half a week if you wanted to. So I'm highlighting the entire week right across the top. I'm highlighting the month. In the category box, I'm just writing the range of the week and just wrote that it's a weekly. And then over here, I'm using my stamps to stamp the week number, number which I really like the way it looks because I'm still getting that nice bold number look with the stamps and still being able to use this insert 
for a weekly and basically I'm just using it as like a running list of essentially just like the top things that I need to have written down like any appointments or events timed things deadlines if there's like important tasks or reminders or anything that I just definitely want to get done at some point during this week sometimes I even have a little note that I need to work on like another master list so that I'm checking things off of that list somewhere else in my planner that's floating around just stuff like that uh, now I do like to add sticky notes I am constantly using sticky notes so I do have this weekly tracker one here this one just has a few like daily reminders and I was just checking them off so I liked having this layered here I always tend to have little stickies everywhere over here I have another sticky note in this one I was jotting down what the school lunches were to see if my daughter wanted to buy or pack that day because it's a whole week on one page I do have the rest of the year in here so this is about four and a half months worth and look at how thin it is it takes up so much less space in comparison to the dailies while still allowing me to have a place to like look ahead and jot down certain things for when that week arrives I don't miss it so like if I take the dailies which again this is about two and a half months worth and here's the weeklies four and a half months worth such a huge difference so I am able to not only have the rest of this year in here but I could go ahead and prep all of 2025 and put it in here and have it ready to go which is really really great now I do also keep a lot of my important reminders and a lot of the things like this on my iCal just because I use the heck out of my iCal for a monthly overview so then I get the alerts my husband can also access it so that's really good because this just helps I don't miss anything because I really like getting those alerts but I have to have things written down like that's just how my mind works it's how I plan I need that I do incorporate technology I talk about this in my other video it might be like three videos ago or so it's all about my planning system like the different components of my planning system now i am going to be incorporating some newer inserts into here that i just released in my etsy shop so i do want to share them with you really quick because i do plan to have them in my agenda section first one here this by the way it's they're just samples and testers i like to use them to test and like do different ideas with them with how you can use them and then i have these pictures all in the listings on my etsy shop so that people can get ideas and just some inspiration for how they can use the inserts as well so this is not like my actual list here it was just a sample <laughs> but basically this is the weekly tracker i'll also show you a plain one this is the weekly tracker here it just has this gray category box here where you can write down what it is that you're tracking so it could just be like a general list like this i was just doing weekly tasks just general weekly tasks and then i coded them in different areas of my life so that i can just kind of have them pop out so if i sat down and i knew i was going to work on housework i could look for all the blue if i was going to do work i could look for the green over here i did this one more specific for housework and then i categorized it by different zones in my house so that i could see like which parts of my home I wanted to be doing these specific tasks for if that makes sense you can use this for any type of weekly tracker you can put the category here and then up here there's Monday and Sunday starts in all of my inserts if you're ever curious about that I always offer Monday and Sunday starts I personally use Sunday starts for everything and then there's a little blank box under each where you can put the numbers so you could just write those in you could also use this box to just write like the month or the year whatever you want to do like I did that right here and then nice wide lines where you can write in your tasks or reminders, whatever. And then you can check them off, color code, do whatever. Tracker key code. And I really like the way that this looks. The new weekly tracker insert is basically the insert form of the sticky note here. I have a bunch of sticky notes in bundles and the bold collection bundles. I loved so much how some of them turned out that I knew back when I created them that I wanted to make them in insert form. So I knew the trackers were ones that I wanted to have in insert form. So this is the sticky note I was using, but I might go and put a weekly tracker insert in between each of my weeklies and just have that instead of the sticky note. I really like the way that this just all looks together. I think it looks really good. They all have wide lines. It just looks really cohesive and like easy to read like I just really like that so I'm thinking about adding a weekly tracker in between each one really like that and again this is what a plain one looks like and the listing for this also has a bonus pdf in it where there's no key code so if anybody wants just a full page without a key code that's also available in the same listing and then I also have a monthly tracker that I just released and it's pretty similar to the weekly tracker they 
you know, go together really nice. And this has all of the months and they're double stacked. So in each line item here, you have like a double stack of the month. So you have January through June on the top stack and then July through December here. This just allows you to have more space for writing here. I love that. That is also how the sticky note design is. And you've probably seen this many times before because I use these all the time. I love these. And again, just has the key code at the bottom, nice wide lines, and you can go ahead and do either like just general tasks and then categorize them or you can do something specific. So back here, I did a little sample of like, if you wanna use it as a bill tracker, these are not my actual bills. I just wanna mention that these are just random numbers that I wrote down, but basically you could write down your bills here and then you can use the key code to track what area, financial area that they come from. I also did a little star to indicate if something was on auto pay. And then you could just check it off when it is paid just to keep track of it. You could use this for anything, like whatever it is that you want to track on a monthly scale, like this insert would be great for. And I'll show you the plain one for this as well. So this is what it looks like before. And again, there's a version without the tracker key code down at the bottom. So it would just extend all the way down. And then I also have a general tracker that I released as well. So this one is more so inspired by like the order tracker here and the borrowed log, library books log, to return log, these types of things. You can use these for so many different things, but you can write in the category whatever it is you want to track. Here's a column that you can use for whatever you want. Just write in whatever header you want. And then it has a stacked double date. So each line item has two dates. So for some samples, I did a return log, use this as a place where it's being returned to, and then the dates when I ordered it and when it has to be returned by. Back here, I used this for books to read. A lot of these books, as you can see with five stars, are books that I loved. But anyways, what you can do with this is have a list of books to read, you can use this as a rating column and then your dates, the date you started, the date you finished each of the books and then check off when you finish it. And then another sample I did was an order tracker, which actually matches my order tracker here. And you can use it the exact same way. I use the place that I ordered from, the date that I ordered, the date that I received it, the item. So I love these new trackers. I'm going to be incorporating these into my planner. So I wanted to show them to you because they will be in my agenda section, especially I'm gonna give the weekly tracker a try in between each of my weekly overviews. I do also have another new release, which is just a basic wide line notes. I've been doing inserts lately in wide lines just to give some options because I do have old trackers that have key codes built in, but they're horizontal and they have narrow lines. So I wanted to offer something that was vertical and something with wide lines. So I also wanted to offer some new notes pages, really, really simple, really basic, no check columns or anything, just wide lines, a little category box to write, comes in a full page as well as a split column page, which is really great for lists or like shopping and you could do it as a little daily list. You could even cut down this line and have like a, a little half Z insert in here if you want to. And you could just leave excess over here and you could punch this side too if you want to do that. So those are just some new releases. I'm going to be incorporating them in here. And again, you'll see those in my upcoming planner flip once I get to filming that as more stuff trickles in as I've been transferring into here, which again has been so nice because I've been able to really consolidate old lists that I've had and clean everything up really good. But basically I'm just really loving having a weekly overview back in my planner and just the simplicity of it. I love a good monthly and a weekly. It's just what works best for me in like the main parts of my agenda section for my planning. And it just goes so nicely with all the other things that I use in my planning system, like my master lists and just all the other aspects, the logs, the trackers, everything. I just think it all ties in nicely for me personally. So I'm loving this little setup so much. I just wanted to share it just so you guys could have some ideas as well. That's pretty much my update for my agenda section. I just wanted to share that quick with you all since it was different from the flip that I just released. Of course, of course, after I release that, I go and change things. But I thank you so much for watching and I hope that you'll stop by in my next video.